in this video i will be showing you guys how you can solve nvidia drivers have stopped working and have been recovered successfully uh, this error occurs sometimes when you are playing game or when you are watching a high graphic video high quality video even sometimes it occurs even when you are doing nothing your pc is idle like it used to so what you will need to solve this problem you will need to download this program here you will need to download this program which is called nvidia inspector i will keep the link in the video description so that you can download and use it so as you can see my graphic card is geforce gt 540m this is my graphic card like seriously i could not even do anything on my pc anytime that i just own it and launch and my screen will even go blank white will change colors then sometimes the pc will restart so with this tool i have successfully play games too much of my work without it doing this again doing the kind of pro that kind of problem again so once you have up downloaded the program extract it and send it to your desktop you will need to click on here show overclocking when you click on overclocking they will ask you one confirmation they haven't asked me because i already opened it yet they will ask you to confirm something just click yes and when you click yes you will have mem memory clock and shutter clock so what you will need to check on here is the shutter clock which is the uh, clock speed that control the clock speed of the gpu itself this is the shutter clock that controls the clock speed of the GPU. So what you will need to do is to put it in 900. First try and put it in 900. Then try when you put it in 900, click on apply clocks and voltage. When you click on then you will click OK. When it's on 900, you will try. You will have to try launching some games that used to give the driver error. When you try launching them and it work then you are good to go with the shutter clock in 900 so if you try and it does not work then that means you will need to reduce it again try reducing it to 800 700 600 but know that when reducing it from 600 if you reduce it like 500 your performance of your gaming will to be less will not be as active as it was in the full shutter clock speed so I think I guess you have no option because as for me I have no option so if you try this and it does not work if you try any game and it does not work for the shutter clock you will need to put it down like when you start playing the game and you have the same error you will need to close the game then shift it down some more until you see the specific number that Play, that the game will play there well and when you see specific shutter clock rate that you will need to use it all the time that your PC is very stable on it you will need to click on create clocks shortcut when you click on you will need to right click yeah when you right click click on create startup shortcut when you click so you will need and um, it's not permanent it's not something that you will do it once then continue using your pc often and owning then using doing when you off your pc for example like my pc is now i have set the clock the shutter clock rate speed if i read off my pc and on it back i will need to do the same process like i have created my shortcut already i have created my shortcut already in the desktop when i open the when i off my pc and on it back when i just click on the program it will load the settings that I already made before restarting the PC so which is very easy the thing is when you set it and you see that your PC is stable in the settings you will create a shortcut then when you restart your PC anytime that you off your PC will restart it you will just need to come here to the you will just need to come here to the NVIDIA inspector then click click on apply clocks then after that you are good to go so that's it if I find a better solution about it then I will let you guys know but this is the only solution that I have found because I have been trying for months searching videos about it but I could not find anyone that could solve so this is the only option that I have discovered on how it, and it's very helpful to me because I'm using my PC quite alright with no problems anymore so if it really helps then 
let me know in the comment section comment section if there is any problem that you are facing using the program comment let me see and don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos